What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Ragnarok Season 2. That's right you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you find yourself to be enjoying today's video, let me know what your favorite part of it is down there in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome everybody. So today, today we are doing... three and we got one and we got two and we got three and yes indeed you are seeing three brand new names for all of our wolves we need three more names for our wolves down here but we'll get those today after after you guys give me more names <laughs> so anyways guys this is what we got so from david 2 we have okami which is i think japanese for wolf which is pretty cool then we have from Zarin is boss, we have Fenrir, which is uh, a giant wolf from Norse mythology, which I thought was pretty cool. And then from the Great Ham Bean Arena, we got Balto, which I thought was a pretty cool callback to an old, what is it, an old movie? Balto? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was an old movie. But today, these six direwolves are going to get a flippin' workout today. Now let's see, the pack leader is this one, level 231 Balto. Now what I want to do today, guys, is I want to do one... And one thing only today, and that is have a gigantic leveling montage with these beautiful wolves. I've come to love dire wolves in every single freaking series that I've done. Every single series, I've always wanted to have a lot of dire wolves. And it's because they are so powerful in a pack. Now, that was before they added all of the pack bonuses. You know, they had always been, they had always been very good in packs because of mate boost. But they've never had a pack boost similar to the compies like they do now. And so now... All five of the wolves behind me have the pack boost. You see the plus four? So when I howl, just like this, all of them howl, I get the orange glow, they get the yellow glow, and now they take less damage, and they do insane amounts of more damage, which is a damn good thing for us. Now let's see. What do we got? You guys are with me? You guys... They're with Pierre while I talk to you a little bit about what's going on throughout this week. So, last week we did our first ever Challenge Friday, and I have to say, guys, thank you so much for all of the challenges that you guys gave me. I was so excited to do that, and I'm, I was a little nervous, too, but so excited to do that. Plus, we got a mammoth out of it, guys. Level 145, I believe, and I believe there were names given for it, but I think I'm going to wait until next episode, just in case there were anybody, anybody else that wanted to give any other names. Now, let's see. None of these wolves have really been leveled all that much, but let's see how much damage it does to this little micro-raptor. <laughs> 326. Now, see right there, that was a dead body. Now, let's go ahead and tag this jacket. Uh, actually, here. Let's go and get them to go tag him, or can I even do that on the back of this thing? Okay, I am literally stuck in... There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's try this. Let's just tag him once. And I missed him. Jeff, let's just tag him once. Just run up to him and bite him. There we go. 326. Look at how much damage they're doing, guys. These things are going to melt everything. Now, let's try to bite something with a little bit more teeth. I think this Carno will be just fine. There we go. There we go. And he's dying and he's dead. That was a 130 Carno. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, a minute and 24 seconds as a, for a cooldown until we can howl again, but I think, you know what guys, I think it's time we go ahead and start off today's leveling montage by taking out that Bronto. What do you say? Alright guys, enjoy! <laughs>
Alright you guys, so I can pretty much say that these dire wolves are a force to be reckoned with. I mean, you saw some of the shit that these things were killing. Um, they just shred through anything, honestly. Like, if I was an uneducated man, I would say let's take him up against a Giga. But that's not gonna happen, because they may have the melee damage, they don't have the health. So, basically, the, the highest level one, I'm pretty sure, is Balto. Let's see. So, I'm pretty sure the highest level one is this one. Level 260, with this dire wolf coming in behind it. Actually, this one behind it, that direwolf behind our closest one, uh, and then Fenrir being the lowest level. But that's okay. Fenrir can be the uh, he can be the low level one. But then again, he's also at five thousand one hundred seventy eight point seven health, and four hundred forty eight point six percent melee damage. Now, Balto, Balto is the heavy hitter because he's sitting at sixty one thirty six health and seven hundred and one percent melee damage. Let's just ride this bad boy and see how much damage. Fuck, that's a rock elemental. Let's just see how much damage this bad boy can do by himself. Let's go ahead and whistle passage just there, just like that. We'll bring our we'll bring the wolf pack down here to get away from all of these freaking rock elementals because we don't want to fight those. Even though they may actually be able to take them, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and do this. I mean, I've killed I've killed rock elementals before with vultures, but after only after losing about eight. <laughs> so you know, maybe we won't try that. But okay, we'll go and get them off of follow. And they should be fine. They should be absolutely fine. Now, let's go ahead and test out how much damage this bad boy is going to do by himself. Because I'm really curious to see. Because if he's going to do over, like, 300 damage by himself, unmate boosted, unpack boosted, you know, anything like that, then this thing could be a possible, like, Rex replacement. Although, like I said, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the health that it should have. But that is quite alright, because we can always breed more. Now, let's see what it does. 231. Okay. So that's 231 damage by itself, without its mate boost, without its pack boost, without any of that stuff. Now with the pack boost, I'm pretty sure, and the mate boost, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to do close to 600 damage, as are the other ones who have close to, if not over, 700 melee damage, which is insanity. It is absolutely insane, the fact that these things can do that much freaking damage. Let's see, where, where did my wolves go? I think they're up on that hill? I saw that horse up there, it was kind of glowing in the dark, but I don't think it was glowing in the dark. But, needless to say, these wolves are perfect. Now, you know what would be cool? Is if throughout kind of an area where we have our, you know, our buildings and stuff like that, what if we bred more dire wolves and we had a, a standing pack of like 15 dire wolves? 15 dire wolves just standing in one spot, all leveled like this. A mad freaking terror, like, the, the terror that would be in your freaking eyes if, if freaking 15 direwolves came running towards you. Um, these might actually be kind of fun to try and take the bosses on. The problem is the Ragnarok bosses are not the good ones. You got the Manticore and you have the Dragon. Whereas on the center and, you know, on, um, what is it? And on the island, you have the Megapithecus, you have the Broodmother, all sorts of that stuff. So those are really the ones that I'd rather take on. But truthfully, we can't get those bosses until unless you're on the center or the island, but I do think, however, that that is going to be it for today's episode. I know it was more of a laid-back episode, but today is Monday, and I figured, you know what, let's take it a little bit easy, and we'll ease ourselves into this week, because I got some stuff planned that's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So with that being said, I very much hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. No more smashing it, just give it a little bit of a love tap. And if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias, and check out my website below, and maybe check out a t-shirt. Links are down there in the description. And guys, I will see you in the next video.